Traveling now on my day three excursion across the SCC, I traveled to Georgia, where I took on the non for 13th ranked Georgia Bulldogs. Now, in 2008, they were 10 and 3, knocked off Michigan State in their bowl game 24 to 12. Their away record was a stellar 5 and 1, and home was even was just as good. 4 and 2. 4 and 2. Quarterback Joe Cox now takes the snaps behind. A 6'1", 198 pounder. He's a senior this year, so that could mean some things. But the problem is, Cox doesn't have as good of an arm as Stafford's. But that doesn't mean he can't get the ball into the wide receiver's hands. Running back Richard Samuel is now the new one. Take it over for North Shawn Marino. Sophomore, 6'2", 216. Had wrist surgery in January. Will be ready against Oklahoma State. His size is to punish offenses and control the game. But Cox has a good thing going for him. Wide receiver A.J. Green had a sensational freshman year. 963 yards and 8 touchdowns, 17.2 yards per catch. He's a 6'4 frame and a 207 build, and he could disrupt some defenses this year. And of course, that will linebacker that we all know about in the SEC, Renny Curran. 5'11", 222, he's a junior now, and he had a stellar 115 tackles in 2008. Now, the big question on my mind is, though, this schedule. Georgia has one of the toughest schedules in the country. September 5th, their season opener. They're taking on number nine, Oklahoma State, at Oklahoma State. October 3rd, they got the LSU Tigers at Georgia. And then they got at Vanderbilt, October 17th. Halloween night. Mark your calendars. Florida takes on Georgia. <laughs> that should be an interesting one. And then November 28th, Georgia's looking for some revenge against their in-state rival, Georgia Tech. Now, the question on my other mind is depth. Can Joe Cox fill Matthew Stafford's shoes? Can Richard Samuel fill Marino's shoes? I don't see it happening, though. The schedule is just way too tough. Alabama's just too sound. Ole Miss is going to be a surprise once again this year. Florida's just way too good. I mean, Tim Tebow is going to dominate once again this year. And, of course, LSU, Football Factory, it's going to be dominant. I see, I don't see Georgia winning more than eight games this year. The schedule is just way too difficult. But I will say one thing for Georgia fans. November 28th, you're going to get your revenge on Georgia Tech. Georgia Bulldogs, 8-4.